let's make a headboard. I just teased it a little bit, so you got to see a little bit of the final product, but I want to make this headboard like a piece of art. I need to go pick up some paint because the sponsor of today's video is Wagner. I'll tell you a little bit more about them later, but I used their Flexio 5000 paint sprayer to do this, and it turned out fantastic. Before I get to painting this headboard, I actually have to make the headboard. These boards were wide, so to do the milling for a lot of it, I used that multifunction sled that I did a video on previously. So I'll link to that video below. If you haven't checked that out, definitely go give it a watch. After I got everything milled though, it was time to glue it up. I threw some painter's tape down on my clamps and just arranged everything how I wanted it. I'm using loose tenons to help me with joining up this panel. So I marked out where I needed to drill them out and then I used my domino to make the mortises. I'll link below to an alternative for loose tenons that I have found and I really like them. They're a little bit cheaper than the ones made by Festool but they're made of beach just like the others and they work great. You always have to work a little quickly when you're gluing up a big panel like this, and it's probably a good idea to do it in a few different sections. I decided to give it a go all at once, but it is a little stress inducing, uh, even if you have everything prepared because your glue could start to set up and then you would really be in trouble maybe not getting a good glue joint. I just made my way one board at a time. I would add some glue, throw those loose tenons in there, and then move on to the next board, repeating the process. Then I brought out a bunch of my parallel clamps and tightened everything up, being sure not to over tighten it. It's really easy to bow a panel like this. Well, a couple of projects in between and a haircut later, I'm back to working on the bed. Had some other things I had to take care of, but now it's time to paint that cool design on this headboard. I've got this maple headboard panel all ready for it. I'm going to start taping off some different sections, making kind of a geometric design to where you'll still see some of the maple through here. And uh, I think it's going to look pretty cool. Last summer, I used my Wagner Flexio sprayer to help my parents totally renovate their living room. It has a larger hopper and this smaller detail hopper, and for this project, I decided to use the detail one. I like to do very, very thin coats with sprayers like this. Uh, it's a little more difficult to kind of see the results that you're getting when you're doing the first coat. In fact, you'll see in just a second, sometimes it can look a little bit spotty. That's not because it was spraying spots or anything. This particular paint has a lot of dye in it and it just kind of showed up that way against the dark maple. But by the time I started laying down the second and then the third coat, you could almost see no variance in the paint at all. All right, I ended up putting a second coat on it that same day, but the light was running pretty low that day, so I didn't get any footage of it. Here we are the next day and I'm doing the third-ish and kind of final coat. You can see me going back over a couple of spots that I just had not hit quite enough because they were a little bit thin. And now you can see how good of coverage I got with three thin coats and we finally get to see this design revealed. There's just something satisfying about peeling paint off of your project, isn't there? I 
I ended up with this huge ball of tape when I was done, but that's okay because the design came out awesome. There are a few more things still to do to this headboard, like trim it to size and do an edge treatment on it. Because of that, I wanted to protect the paint and do a seal coat on top. I actually used the same Flexio sprayer for that. It is a water-based polyurethane, and I did two decent coats on there using a brown paper bag to just kind of smooth it down in between coats. I made this a little bit oversized, so after figuring out the final size that it needed to be, I grabbed my track saw and ripped it down to its final length and width. And I wanted to put a slight chamfer on the front edge all the way around it just to give it a nice edge detail. I was a little worried about doing this that I would somehow mess up that paint and finish because it was pretty much already done, but everything went okay. I was gentle with the router and it turned out just fine. All right, are you ready to see the finished headboard that looks like a piece of art? Thanks so much for watching. Big thanks to Wagner for sponsoring this video. Due to some time constraints, I wasn't able to get the full frame done with the headboard. So keep an eye out for that. It'll be coming up real soon. Here are a couple of clips from that build. So be sure to keep your eyes out for it and I'll see you on the next video.